Welcome to Christian Statesman. I'm your host, Zach Wagner, and this is episode 13, The Christian Standard. We should all keep in mind that America was founded on fundamental Judeo-Christian values. America's origins are an historic illustration of the merging of faith and reason. In this balance, this tension between secular analysis and the more esoteric moving of faith has built America into what it is today. When John Adams stated at the dawn of our republic that, quote, our constitution was made only for a moral and religious people, it is wholly inadequate to the government of any other, unquote, he understood this important dynamic. And the highest Christian standard is the standard of truth. When the Savior said openly, I am the way, the truth, and the light, one of his layers of meaning revolved around the fact that truth is necessary in all things, including our own governance. Only in the light of truth, the actual conditions of things as they really are, can any true form of liberty and representative governance take place. When we choose to conceal truth or promote untruths and errors, we severely limit the outcomes available to us. Liberty cannot live in the light of lies. Independent free will and proper choice cannot function if the availability of true and false choices is not, a ma- is not made available to the free actor. If we live in a system of increasing deception, we will ultimately harvest the fruits of that deception, and those fruits will not be good or nutritious to the spirit and soul of personal liberty. We are living under an increasingly false reality in our political lives. With a complicit press, the far left in this country wants to continually weave a narrative of half-truths and lies. For example, many will tell us America is a racist country. The truth is, racism has existed and will always exist in limited instances. This is simply human nature. The lie comes about when you project the isolated occurrences onto the fabric of the nation as a whole. This leads to more error when unnecessary or misleading solutions are championed based on the original half-truth. This behavior does not meet a Christian standard. It reduces our freedoms and inhibits our abilities to act as free-thinking and free-acting agents unto ourselves. It seeks to trap us in a web of deceit for the purposes of power and control, the opposite of liberty. And that usurping of power is sought to become centralized into the hands of those very actors perpetrating the lies in the first place. No nation can stand indefinitely under such circumstances. When the lie becomes the truth to so many, the fruits of that lie become commonplace, and so suffering begins. We should have no qualms to seek truth in any of our public discourse, whether by faith or by reason. Only someone with something to hide would not seek the truest answer to any and all issues. Thus, as this election drags on and the claims of election interference and fraud multiply, the true Christian standard demands we all get to the bottom of it. For media and the left to say nothing to see here is worse than Trump and the right claiming the entire process was fraught with error. The truth lays somewhere in between, and it would be well with us all to find it. Exactly how much error has been perpetrated should be carefully documented and addressed. If not, how can we ever expect the light of truth to smile upon us again? Truth brings with it its own rewards. Transparency and mutual understanding are just a few of those benefits. The examination of principles of truth allows deeper philosophical and scientific analysis to prove that truth and find proper application for it. When it comes to national dialogue, we should demand nothing less than a Christian standard of truth. We cannot survive long as a nation without it. 